What's up? What's up? Johnny Banger 45 here. Welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. That's right. In the last episode, we have played all of the up here. Trust, understanding, respect, and balance. Now we're gonna go reflection. Oh, this time is about Yuri and Monica. Wow. Let's let's watch. Let's open the side story, of course. Am I bothering you? Hmm? No? Okay, just checking. It's hard to tell since you always look so into it when you're reading it. It makes me scared to interrupt. Well, it's really my expectation to be interrupted when I read here. It's mainly when I'm by myself I don't like it. Hmm, that makes sense. I guess if you're here in the first place then you're more ready to socialize even if it takes a bit of prodding. It's not so bad to be social if I let others do the work. So it can be healthy to put myself in a social environment every every now and then. It's mostly difficult when I don't know anyone or there are too many people or everyone is being too silly for me to keep up with. Yuri glances across the room with Anasuke and Sayori. Sayori has her head chopped back and her mouth open trying to catch pieces of a cookie that Anasuke is lowering into the air. But the pieces keep bouncing off her face and hitting the floor. Maybe I should say something. No need, they just ran out of cookie, what a waste. They really they, really, they have really become good friends out there. I'm happy. Sorry, it seems particularly good at making that happen. But the two of them are both on the energy jelly side, so I suppose it works out well. Yeah, come to think of it, you and I have had many chances to talk one on one, have we? So that may be a partially by fault since I'm supposed to be the one engaging club members. <coughs> Not at all. I probably form a habit of drawing minimal attention to myself. The responsibility is equally on me, at least to display some openness to engage. Well, what about during times at like lunch? Do you meet up with friends? I just read. Oh, but I like it that way. It feels nice to be carried off again after a morning of classes. Hmm, do you always read fantasy? Oh, not always. I suppose it's all I have read recently, but only because I'm in the middle of the series. There are still two more books after this one. I guess those long books suits you well since you have spent so much time reading. Well, fantasy may be my favorite, but after that, I more or less discriminate to genres. I will read anything with depth and maturity. Oh yeah? Even like romance? Well, there are a lot of books that have elements of romance in them. Oh, come on Yuri, you know what I mean. Monica loves her voice. It's a guilty pleasure of mine, so I won't tell anyone if you do too. Maybe more when I was in middle school. I mean, I was really lonely and people were really mean to me a lot. So I just, it kind of felt like... Nah, please don't tell me you're thinking about the past. Haha, <laughs> sorry, I got I just got super curious. You know, we should totally pick up a romance novel to read. That would be so much fun. Absolutely not. Really, even if it's just between us. Try asking someone who has no shame like Natsuki. Ouch. Ah, so sorry, I swear I didn't mean that. Well, I guess it's my fault for pressing you. I'm like that for things in my past too. You know, things I feel too embarrassed to re experience. There's nothing wrong with growing up of things, it happens to everyone. For instance, last week's interesting manga reminds me of quite a bit of how int intense I used to be about my own interests. It makes me think that she'll likely grow out of it too. Hey, what are you talking about me? Uh, no, we were just oh, we were just talking about how in our interests has changed over the years. Where did you get into manga, Natsuki? Hmm, like a couple of years, I guess? I was already sort of into it before that, but I wasn't really going hard until then. Oh yeah? What's it? What was it that inspired you to get more into it? I don't know. I guess, let me think. First after I discovered a series that I really like. Yeah, I was just like, really fed up with a lot of things. And I got super into this one series that I really related to it. I guess I had an aging face when I just hated everyone around me and wanted to be myself. Ha ha ha. Hey, kind of like Yuri. Monica. Ah, I'm sorry. That's completely wrong, so it's still cool that you both really found your thing. They are almost like opposites, but it sounds like they help you a lot through hard times. You know, it... Hmm. Wow, what the heck? Is that book even bigger than the last one you were reading? Uh, um, it's technically slight, slightly longer, but not by very much. How high do you think it would go if you stack up the whole series? Let's get estimates by holding a hand right above her head, sizing out the imaginary stack. I should get one of those mangas that are like 50 volumes long so that I can stay I read more than you. Haha. <laughs> now that I have money for that, please, that will hardly count when your books only have a few words per page. I know, I was just joking. I can never actually read books like yours. It's too boring for me. 
You really should take less than him, I think. It's not about it. Chill, I say for me, not for you. I can't have my own opinion. Just, I just think it's too complicated. Uh, Selling others from the floors? Huh? Ah, uh -huh, gross. Also, wash your hands before touching any of my book. <laughs> but my hands are dirty. <clears throat> just do it. The oils are there even if you can't see them. Fine. Sayu trusts out of the room and Natsuki follows. Uh, you know, you look a little upset. What kind of nerd does she have to call my hobby body? Well, she did call it as Hardly, she was so fast that sending. I don't mind if she thinks it's not for her. I really understand that it's not for everyone. But she knows well how much this means to me. So how about just leaving me alone instead of needlessly telling me that the things you hate about it. I'm sorry, Yuri. You may be right. This won't be last, last time people have strong feelings about what they like and don't like. Especially in a literature club. So I should figure out how to mediate discussions to keep them positive and constructive. For the records, I am always impressed by the level of creativity creativity in your books or and your ability also to get through them so quickly. Thank you. Okay, well, this is something I had to think about and reason. I'm sure I can help Natsuki find some common ground with you. Common ground isn't necessary. I just wish to be respected. Then that, uh, either way, I'll do my best. I'm skeptical when it comes to Natsuki. I trust you, Monica, but I'm skeptical. Okay, everyone. Wow, the mega music! We have a special club meeting today. As you know, the literature club is a place where we get to share things that we are really passionate about. It. But that also means we should be mindful of how we respond to each other's feelings. I think we have a chance to turn our difference into positive energy for each other. Aren't you being a little dramatic about this? This is important to me. Well, sorry, I just feel like I'm being accused of something. No, I'm not accusing anyone of anything. I'm sorry if I came off that way. But our conversation is that it made me reflect on the power of language and I thought it would be a good topic for the literature club, don't you think? I'm sure we're going to have differences in opinion a lot, so I need to make sure we are prepared to keep a positive atmosphere in the club. If you say so, sure. The cool thing about language is that it gives us a lot of different ways to express the same idea or emotion. We have a lot of control over how we want the other people to feel when we receive our thought. This goes for poetry, narratives, casual conversation, basically anything. For example, sorry, what's your favorite food? Um, I have to organize my category so much time with snake or do you mean food means showing a very true? Oh jeez, okay, how about your favorite fruit? That's easy, cherries. Really? I always thought cherries taste nasty. What? Cherries are delicious. Wow, that's pretty strong reaction. Well, I just don't understand how someone could think the chair is unnecessary. How does it make you feel? I don't know, sad? Defensive, maybe? Yeah, I got defensive. See? The reason you had such a strong reaction was just because I don't like cherries. It's because you felt that your opinion was under attack. But that's where I stop. Things like taste is completely subjective. When I say something like, I think cherries taste nasty, I use the objective language. I'm challenging is the reality that cherries are delicious with my own, which is that cherries are cherries. Cherries are nasty. Wait, hold on. How is that objective when you say you said it was your own opinion? It has to do with the way our brains interpret the words. You're talking about the reality of the cherries, not your feelings about them. Nice sayori. Let's rewind for a second pretend. I didn't tell you that I think cherries are nasty. Good. So what if instead I say that I try cherries and they are not for me? It's not the kind of flavor I enjoy. Don't call that nasty. Nasty is a nasty word. Okay, so chance is kind of a weird example, but I think they'll get the point across. This time around, instead of talking about the cherries, cherries, I just talking about my feelings and sorry I didn't get defensive. So instead of clashing with each other, we start with this safe invitation to talk about our differences. You don't need, you don't need to take notes. I know I'm gonna quiz you or something. I, I know that I was just mm, sorry I didn't mean to call out you. Oh yeah, you can do whatever you like. But does anyone have any other thoughts so far? So far? Yeah, I just feel like I should have to my language to appeal to just to protect someone's feelings. But you don't have to. The choice is yours on how you want to come across to other people. I'm only suggesting that it is a tool to have you turn your differences into a positive experience rather than an argument. Right, Sayori? Whatever you say, Cherry Hayden. Oh, come on. Sayori, I actually like cherries. I was just saying that to help demonstrate. What the heck? I've been dumped. Uh -huh, 
I'm sorry, sorry. I'll make it up to you later. How about the cherry Sunday? You are welcome to talk me anytime, my beloved president. Buy, buy your people's, buy your people's loyalty. How deplorable! Oh, like you would turn down free Sunday, you ring. You're certainly a fan of those cupcakes I brought in other weeks. That was, I mean, I was reading and not keeping track of them. Okay, that's enough. We are getting off topic. So now that we have a case of it, how about we try with something more relevant to the club? Like manga, right? Okay, Monica, you are taking us key. Let's try to have a productive discussion about our differences in opinion. You know, do you want to start? Um, well, I rather not know. Oh, uh, God. Well, because I don't see how any productive can come from that. It's just going to start a fight. No, it'll be fine. That's why I'm here to moderate. Let's have a calm and rational discussion. Yeah, give me a little more credit. I'm not shy, and okay? you don't have to quarrel in my feelings. I'm always saying it's more expensive to just speak your mind. Respectable. Great stress changes at that work. As Monica recalls, very respectable work. The curse of manners for unit. Where the point of the exercise is that it isn't exactly like it's fine. I have nothing against anyone personally. If you are entitled to enjoy whatever it is you like, I just prefer more depth and noise in my reading material. I look for a story that I match deep and sophisticated beyond the surface level. Oh, well, that's just a misunderstanding then. I thought you were gonna say that mothers for children or something like I don't hear that enough of that. But there's a very of deep hunger. I'm not clueless about hunger. I read my own fashions when I was younger. What, are you serious? Hunger, you never told me. Because I'm past that point in my life and I prefer not to revisit it. I prefer more mature things now. Excuse me? Okay, hold on, can I show you that? Let's try to keep it things subjective. Because if you find that manga is immature, then I can find that someone is immature for being into it. I... Well, maybe it's immature to judge people having different things in sense than you. Nasuke! Someone is immature. I'm really Nasuke manga. You decided that I love them boy. They are all way. Okay, okay. It's fair that you like it, but I still find it boring. Boring is a subjective. Okay, it's boss me that's subjective. But, I mean, the thing about this is ridiculous. Do you see why I didn't want to participate in this? I knew it was just, it was just going to make people upset. I know I said, like I said, I don't care what other people think. I always got the impression that you secretly looked down upon me, so I'm glad that my suspicions were confirmed. Let's not try out, you make an assumption. You can't blame me for getting defensive when nobody ever at, at, at least has the least bit respect for the things that I'm into. The only thing I look down upon is when people make fun of me for just being my soundtrack to mind my own business. Why are we looking at the mirror? Tell me every game about respect after calling it my, all my interests mature. You can't. Please stop. Please. You don't mean the things you are saying right now. Let's just be friends. Uh, uh, I didn't mean for this to happen. Well, it did. So please don't invite yourself to try and solve other problems next time, okay? Uh, Yuri pierces what sent the cloud into a short silence as she gathers her things. She leaves. Oh no, Yuri. Holy crap. I never heard her sounds like that before. She must be so pissed. Well, you were very nice either, so I was just saying, how did this happen? It's my fault. You know what's wrong? I, sh I shouldn't have tried to moderate a conflict when I know how bad I am at dealing with conflicts. It was really stupid things for me to do. It's nobody's fault, and it wasn't stupid. And why this guy is a nice person? Nobody would have expected this. But I guess we are sensitive about the things we really love. Honestly, she kind of brought it upon herself. Like I said, I don't care if you're not into manga, but if you actually look down on the people for it, that's kind of the point I was trying to make in the first place. It's not, it's not about the sugar coating things, it's about just recognizing and understanding our differences. Okay, but here's the thing about that. Yuri actually looks down on me, it has nothing to do with your word choice or anything like that. So I see what you were trying to do, but I really think the problem here is her, not just the way we talk about it, each other, right? I mean, Yuri is like that, she's a lot sweeter than you giving her credit for. I sure she'll be reflecting on this, I actually think everyone should. That'll be fine. I figured something out. Wow, I'm just like saying that instinctively. 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 I just set it myself up to cause more problems. That wasn't your fault, Monica. You don't have to beat yourself up over it. If you ask me, it's good that the truth finally came out because I can just move on. Move on now. But, hmm, it's fine, I promise. Let's just get our mind off this, okay? In fact, it's a good opportunity to read some manga without having to worry about feeling your superiority complex. Don't be mean. I'll talk or read manga whatever you want, but don't be mean to my friends, okay? Sorry. I'm just bitter. Everything will be okay. I mean, I don't have the answers, but I at least know that we're all good people and not and don't want to hurt each other. This will be a learning lesson. 
Monica says that her uneasiness is giving away about how much she has to force the reassuring tone in her voice. This was bound to happen eventually. Nasuke and Yuri have always engaged with each other the least out of anyone, and this is the reason. The story does keep proceed to distract itself with manga Monica sighs to herself, unable to shake her worried thoughts. With the cloud really had to just come out to terms with the fact that some members will be incompatible with each other. Monica desperately doesn't want to admit that and she knows Sayori doesn't either. But for once, a solution doesn't seem to be inside. Oh no. Well, that's a good poem. I mean, good story. So then we're gonna end the episode here. Before we end, of course, we're gonna see the music. Oh yeah, the new music. The clink clink clink. Alright guys, thank you for watching my video. My video is just for fun. Don't take hard brothers and sisters, okay? Magic what time? I don't say famosa.